Hello and welcome to Infinity. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow, so I haven't got a card. Well, I'm locked down, but I should have a card, so let's make one. Okay, so this is the lady of my dreams, my wife of many, many years, and we all turn this into a card. So, first of all, we'd like to get a selection up here because that's what we're going to use. So, I'm going to go to the selection brush and go in here and make sure I've got add up here and snap to edges so I'm just going to take the top part here that's all I need that'll do then I'll go to refine and kind of paint around the edges over here like this to make it get a, a little bit better that'll do how's that that looks okay Right, and now I'm going to Selection and where is it? Output to a new layer and apply that and I've got a new layer there. Right, I need somewhere to put it. So I need a card, so I'll go File, New. If I go to Print, then it gives me paper sizes. A4 is good and I'll make that orientation is the landscape one. So create that. And now I've got the right size card. I'm going to put a rectangle tool here and just draw a rectangle. Just fill that in with any colour. And because if I, oops, get the move tool, drag that across here, and it'll when it hits halfway, it gets a snap. So all this is doing is just showing me where the halfway is. So I'm going to fold this in half to make a card. Right. Next, I want. Um, that other picture, where is it? Here it is, there we go, just that layer. So I can right click and copy, uh, Control C and all that. Go to my page here, Control V, just to paste that in as a new layer here. Bit on the big side, that's okay, we'll shrink it down, we'll put it in round about here. And let's put it inside a heart. So right click here, click on a heart, and Put this up here. My fill colour is already red. That's good. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit, that little red dot in the middle. Then make that fit nicely, sort of on the page, like this. Then I'm going to drag that and underneath there. They're going to get her and make it a little bit big like that. But I want this, this to be inside the heart. So what I'm going to do is click on the heart. Hit Control J and drag that up to so you've got the vertical blue bar and there you go, it acts as a mask and pops her inside there. That's great. And let's click and shift click those two so we get those centered on the page. That's great. So now let's put some text on it. So go to the text tool here. Go hover up to the edge here and select the heart one there. Go up to the edge here and type on here. Click there and type what, that's just a start word. But notice now my red heart has disappeared. And the reason that has disappeared is because it is now the shape that is guiding the text. So if I, in other words, it needs a completely, that were a complete separate shape, I need to put that heart back again. So I'll take the heart there and Control J to duplicate that and then drag that down underneath there. There you go, I've got that back again. Now I can go up to the text again and click on this here. And I want that to be a bigger, so I'll go down to here, try about this, I'll do. And a sort of cutesy sort of thing there, book antiqua, that's that's kind of a move, kind of cutesy. Then I can move it around with this little green triangle here and moves that around there. There's a little red one on the inside as well. Play with those two to get it where you want. Say, so, what are you doing? I'll bring this all back here. And I'm just going to use a space bar to fudge it around that corner. Inside of my heart question mark there we go and I 
and just level it up with that. Then what shall I say? I shall say something like, let's put some more text out here. And I'm going to drag to make that a bit bigger to start off with. And saying it's looking gorgeous and giving me some thing to write right on this card. Ha, huh. I know, corny. But that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about being corny. Let's go back to the Book Antica there. I'll go up to this one here. We'll centralize it. And we'll just add a little bit of spacing to the text by go to this one up here. And I go down here until it starts spacing out. And so I can do that. So I got there then. Let's take this lot here. Control G to group it because I wanted to move it as one thing. So move that kind of up a bit more there. And a little bit of here. And I can space these two lines there. So select those lines there and get to this here and give me a little bit more spacing like that. I think I'll put a background on this of a rectangle. So that's just going to go there for now. I'm going to put that underneath. So I'll pop that down there and do it in a contrasting colour. So I'll go to the fill colour here. Make sure you use the, if you use the colour wheel, it's just going to go opposite from there, go opposite to there. Click. There we go. I make this a little bit darker there. Well, that means the text here needs to be changed. So let's go to the text there. And can I change the... Oh, I think I need to select it, don't I? There we go. That selected it. And change the font there. Let's put that on the cyan. And do the same with this down here. There we go. Oh, I don't need this anymore. And there you go. There's a very quick card. So I hope she'll be happy. I just need to dash off and print it. So thanks very much for watching. Excuse me while I get printing. Bye for now.